Sweeties, welcome to today's tutorial. I start applying some sticky tape because I want a very strong line today. And the first shade that I will use is from Makeup Geek called Beaches and Cream. I'm using my Sigma E40 brush to blend this in my crease like always. And I'm just going back and forth with my brush to blend this softly in my crease. So I'm not doing any special, I'm just going back and forth until you see the shade disappear very softly. The next shade is called Creme Brulee, also by Makeup Geek, and I'm using my same Sigma E40 brush to blend this in my crease. This shade is a bit darker than the Peaches and Cream shade that I applied before, so some of you might think, why are you not going directly in with this shade? Um, it's always important to start with a lighter shade. This will make the transition look very pretty and you will just get a very soft transition. I hope that makes sense. Now I'm using the shade Fawn by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm using my Sigma E45 brush and I'm going to softly create a sort of cut crease. Now I'm going back in with the Makeup Geek Peaches and Cream eyeshadow and I'm using my Sigma E40 brush and I'm just making sure that everything is blended out. Because I went in with the Fawn shade which is much darker than the other shades, I need to make sure that I'm going back in with a fluffy blending brush to make sure there's no harsh line. Now I'm using the Savannah eyeshadow from the Makeup Addiction Cosmetics eye palette. And I'm using again my Sigma E45 brush and I'm going over the places where I first applied the Fawn eyeshadow. Now I'm going back in with the Creme Brulee eyeshadow by Makeup Geek and my Sigma E40 brush and once again I'm making sure that everything is well blended out. I'm going back in with the Makeup Addiction eye palette and I'm using the brownie eyeshadow 
I'm not sure what brush I'm using but it's by Sigma but I can't find it so I'm not sure what the number is. But I'm just going over where I tried to create a sort of cut crease. And I know this video is very long and I don't know. I wasn't very happy with the result of this eye look but I received a lot of positive response when I uploaded a sneak peek on my Instagram. Uh, I just hope that you will enjoy this video. Now I'm done with applying the eyeshadows and I'm using the NYX Jumbo Pencil in the shade Milk. And I use a concealer brush to apply this on my eyelids. Now I'm using the shade Flamethrower by Anastasia Beverly Hills. My camera stopped, um, the battery was low and I didn't notice, so the part of where I applied the eyeshadow is gone, but I just pressed this eyeshadow on my eyelid using a MAC 242 brush. To intensify the corner of my eyelid, I'm going back in with the brownie eyeshadow from the Makeup Addiction Flamethrower Eye Palette. And I'm using my Sigma E45 brush and I'm just blending the shade at the outer corner. Now I'm going back in with the Savannah eyeshadow from the Makeup Addiction eye palette and I'm using my Sigma E15 brush to press this shade right underneath the lower lash line. Now I'm going back in with the Fawn Eyeshadow by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm using a Zygma E34 brush to blend this shade out and now you can see it gives a very nice blended out effect underneath the lower lash line.
Now I'm using the shade Whisper, also from the Make Prediction eye palette. And I'm using the same brush, which I don't know the number of, but it is by Sigma. And I apply this shade in the inner corner of my eye and also a tiny bit underneath the lower lash line to blend this together with the shades that I applied underneath my lower lash line. I also apply this shade underneath my brow bone and I really love all these shimmery shades with this eye look. I'm using the Benefit Hybro Eye Pencil for In My Waterline. I know it's not made for indie waterline, but I just like to use it like this. It doesn't give me irritations in my eyes, so why not? And this is the finished look. I applied my mascara and lashes off camera. I'm using the same MAC Play Lash Mascara like always. The lashes that I'm wearing will be sold by me in January. I will keep you guys updated about it. And hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye bye!